L'Aquila, once a picturesque town in central Italy, now rubble and ruin. No residents have been able to return here ever since an earthquake killed 300 people on the 6th of April. Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi comes once a week, often showing high-profile visitors the extent of the damage. At the end of April, he surprised everyone when he announced he was moving the G8 summit from a luxury cruise liner off Sardinia here to L'Aquila. I am absolutely convinced that I have made the right decision. And the manner in which other countries have reacted to this announcement confirms my impression. And it's here that the leaders of the eight leading industrialized nations will meet from July 8th to 10th, a military academy for Italy's revenue police. A few kilometers from the town center, the barracks held up well against the tremors. A group of eight leaders, including President Barack Obama, will sleep in the cadets' digs in a show of solidarity with earthquake survivors. The gesture is appreciated, but the locals themselves would prefer more concrete help. The government and the parliament have to show that they are by our side by giving us real money, cash in 2009, 2010 and 2011. L'Aquila's residents say their temporary housing conditions are increasingly difficult. The tents are a big problem. At the moment it's too hot during the day, but at night it's the opposite. The temperature drops and we're cold. Many of L'Aquila's residents hope that once the summit's over, Berlusconi will make good on his pledges. A few days after the earthquake, he promised they would all be rehoused by the end of the summer. A tall order when today 20,000 still live under tents.